Listen, get your ego out of the gym. Finish your sets. If you need to drop your weight, drop your weight. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Damn, son. <laughs> All right, so it's been a month since we started with Ben. And of course, I had him start off on the 12 Week Transformation Jumpstart program. But today, I'm going to be working out with him. We're not going to be doing a, a workout from the Jumpstart program. We're actually going to be doing a workout from this cutting phase that I'm doing. But it'll be great. Shock his system a little bit and uh, switch up his routine a little bit. No, it's no, not going to be, uh -oh. it's gonna be too, too, it's not gonna be too intense. It's we're going to take this at your pace, but it is going to be a, a pretty decent finisher at okay. the end. Cool. But anyway, um, so we're going to weigh him, and I'll put all his before stats, because I'm we're probably not going to do measurements today. We're going to just do weight today, which don't mean a whole lot, because my man already said, matter of fact, how have you, have, how have you been feeling? I've been feeling good, man. My, I had to get new pants. They were slipping <laughs> off of me. Nice. So, But I try to stay away from the scale, because I already know, like, it's kind of subjective. It, so. me it messes with your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but but the fact that he 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 noticed a difference in his clothes, like this is what I try to tell you guys all the time. Look at the non-scale stuff. The scale is one thing. It's a very it's a very elusive way to measure your progress. He had to switch his paint size. That says enough right there. But anyway, we're gonna put him on the scale. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't remember what the first number yeah, was. We down. We yeah, down we down. Yeah. Do you remember what the first number was? I think it was like 255, 256. Okay, that's good. No, that, that's a really good pace. I didn't want to just warm up. And here's the thing, man. Like, those big jumps in numbers, yeah. honestly, it's, it's not a good look. It's enjoyable, right? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love to see, damn, I done lost 20 pounds in a month. Yeah, but nah, you want to, exactly, slow yeah. and steady wins the race. It's yeah, no, I'm with it. Sound, So for during the first month, what's been your biggest struggle? I think my eating really. I've been still kind of under eating. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, but um, just I get so full off of the, uh, I guess like a lot of the healthy stuff. You can eat a lot of it, and it's exactly not a lot of calories. And, so. and that's the thing. Like healthy foods are calorie dense, so people yeah. are really surprised when you when you see how much food you can actually yeah. eat yeah. to lose like weight. Yeah, salad and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Literally, you eat bowls and bowls of that stuff. All the all the calories really come from all the oils mm -hmm. and and when you fry stuff. Yeah, that's when yeah. all the calories start piling up. But if you're eating clean or cleanish, yeah, bro, you'd be surprised. Like I said, how much food you eat. So today's workout is going to be machine chest press, eight sets of eight, lat pull down, eight sets of eight, seated overhead dumbbell press, eight sets of eight, easy bar curls, six sets of eight, cable tricep extension, six sets of eight, and then a hit finisher. So towards the end of the sets, he started burning out. So I took all the weight off and I'm having him go slow and control and focusing on actually contracting the chest muscle, like using resistance from his mind.
towards the end of his sets, he started struggling. So he got two more sets left. I want to make sure that he can get through the actual workout. So I had him drop down the weight. Listen, get your ego out of the gym. Finish your sets. If you need to drop your weight, drop your weight. So, so keep, keep your, your elbow elbows here. Oh, okay. there you go. Don't, tight, don't, tight. Don't, don't let your elbows come up. Keep them to your side. Keep them right here. So look. Hold on, babe. Move, move up a little bit. Right. Lower so the keep weight. it. Lower the weight down to, to, to uh, your right elbows there. on the inside. And you're just extending out. Oh, okay. And that's it. Yep. There you go. kettlebell swing is really very little bit of arm and shoulder involved it's mostly hip thrust okay so mm -hmm. you want to bring the bell down so like right underneath your nuts yeah back and then thrust your hips forward and let the bell swing okay it pushes okay. your arms mm -hmm. you push you push with your hips and you contract your glutes get your, your hamstrings involved and just thrust all right you know so like this so, so here back his arms are just kind of floating. My arms are not like doing anything. Okay. The bell's just flowing from the momentum of my hips. Okay. For me? Yeah, yeah. Do you touch your feet? Feel free. A little bit. Yeah. At least you're not going to throw up. Hope oh, not. Maybe. <laughs> You feel good through the whole thing now? Yeah. yeah. Until you yeah, yeah, stopped I suck and your, at body, cardio. Yeah. your body caught up with you. Uh, I think he's going to throw up. Oh, you're going to quit. Ben, I think I taxed him a little too heavy. Yeah. My man just went to the bathroom. He about to Earl, call Earl. All right, first and foremost, I want to shout out my man, Ben. It's been a month. He had his ups and downs in the first month. And the biggest takeaway I want you guys to take away that makes sense um, is yes this is his first month he has he set this big goal in the beginning right and I was a apprehensive about his goal at first as well he wanted to lose 40 pounds in what two or three months something like that I don't like those type of goals I think the uh, my wife is calling me baby I'm filming hi we finally connected yes I'm I am filming I think the first month was a reality check for him. Now, initially, a lot of us, we want that big skill victory in the first month. And a lot of times that happens. But honestly, I'm happy he didn't lose 15 pounds the first month or 20 pounds the first month because this is going to calibrate him. This is going to let him know that this is a marathon. I am super excited that he lost five pounds and he dropped a pant size, which is a win because we are pacing this thing properly. Ben travels a lot for business and traveling can definitely put a, a thorn or throw a monkey wrench into your weight loss operation. And I get that. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure he learned a lot. He's still trying to calibrate his nutrition and, and kind of get a routine going with that between him and his wife and uh, he has a lot to learn and I'm gonna walk him through it but I'm also going to allow him to make the mistakes that I think are necessary in order to make nutrition and exercise a part of your lifestyle and I'm super proud of him because for one I remember when I started if I only lost five pounds in a month 
I would have been sick. I would have been discouraged. I would have felt like a failure. And next thing you know, I probably would have been slamming three uh, quarter pounders straight up. And that's not even an exaggeration. I used to eat like that. Um, but I'm proud of him because he his spirits are up. He's still motivated. He's proud of his weight loss. Five pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but he's proud of that. And he should be. He feels better. He looks better. He's sleeping better. His pant size dropped. This is a win. And this is what I want you guys to recognize. You want slow progress. Slow progress is the best kind of progress, in my opinion, because you know why? It's sustainable. You don't want to do anything to lose weight that you're not willing to do to keep it off. You have to change who you are. And that happens slowly. That does not happen quickly. And if it does happen, if weight loss happens quickly, you're literally still the same person that built the old body. And I, I say this a lot. And if you guys are familiar with, with my content, you know, one of my, my biggest things is in order to get the body you want, you have to become a different version of yourself because the version of you that, that you are right now is who built the body that you have right now. And in order to get the body that you want, you have to become a better person, a better, a person with better habits, with better mindset, with better routines. And that happens very slowly. So pace yourself, understand that this is a, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. And I know I say this all the time and I'm going to keep saying it until you guys understand this. You have to respect the process. If you don't respect the process, you're going to get short term results. And we don't want that. We don't want that. That doesn't help anyone. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, guys. Stay tuned because you know why? My man Ben is going to crush it because I'm going to support him and I'm, and I'm not going to let him quit and I'm not going to let him fail. But I'm not even worried about that with Ben. Ben, I know you're watching. Much love, bro. I'm super proud of you. And we're going to work out once a week. So most likely, I probably will be posting at least a workout, even if it's not an official check-in with Ben every week. But uh, you'll, you guys will see Ben every week. So you guys can watch his transformation live right here on YouTube. Brick Squad, I love you. Please, guys, leave this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel. What I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do once we hit 500,000. We hit 400,000 a few weeks ago, and I'm excited about that. I'll probably shave my head off. I'm fucking going bald anyway, so I don't know. Comment below what you guys think I should do uh, once we hit 500,000, which is the next big milestone. The first milestone was 100,000, and I got the Brick Squad tattoo, just like I promised you guys. Uh, but anyway, as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness, so get well and get money.